Hello guys! Today we will be discussing Introduction to Computer Aided Design The 4 Common Uses of CAD The 4 Categories of CAD And Basic Drawing Tools in AutoCAD So let's start! Computer Aided Design or Computer Assisted Design is a typical method in constructing industry-grade drawings for building, manufacturing, and architectural purposes. Using CAD, we can easily generate lines, curves, circles, and other elements and modify them to digitally design our projects or models up to our own satisfaction. With enough skills, you can do everything with CAD. Listed here are the four common uses of CAD. CAD is used to design and develop products. These products are developed in an electronic screen, it can be printed, and it can be saved for future editing and reference. It is also used to design tools and machinery used in manufacturing of components. You can critically make designs from smallest detail up to the biggest part of the machine. Just a little trivia for you guys. Pag nasa 3D modeling na tayo, especially pag may mga specific materials akong ipapagamit sa inyo, iti-check ko yan based sa mas nung design na ginawa nyo. Hindi lang dahil sakto ang dimensions, perfect na. So, take note of that. So, computer-aided design is wildly used in engineering processes. Again, kayang-kaya natin ito with the right skills using CAD. From layout, prototyping, to analysis and manufacturing methods, magagawa yan with CAD. Also, CAD is used to create plans and construction drawings, mostly buildings, infrastructures, and other architectural works. Best friend talaga ng mga architects at civil engineers ang CAD. Na-discuss ko na broadly itong four categories of CAD last week sa class orientation, so medyo familiar na kayo dito. We have... 2D computer aided design mostly mga basic elements ang makikita natin dito lines rectangles polygons i-modify lang natin ang mga ito in the future to create basic models of course this is illustrated in x and y plane only then we have 3D CAD this is illustrated in x y and z plane it can be shallow or with texture may height na tayo dito sa category na to Next, 3D wireframe and surface modeling. Wireframe, ito ang yung shallow. The skeleton 3D, composed of lines and arcs. And then, citro siya. Yung surface modeling naman, shallow pa din, pero hindi na citro. Last is the solid modeling. This is the most realistic among all other categories. Close siya sa description ni surface modeling, pero meron siyang additional features like volume, weight, and density. Parang actual object na talaga siya. On the last video, dun sa pag ko sa inyo sa working environment ng AutoCAD, na ipakita ko sa inyo yung ribbon area. Diba sabi ko dun, ribbon area has tabs and panels. So panels, ito ang sasaliksikin natin ng maigi today. For AutoCAD 2021 to AutoCAD 2016 users, under the Home tab, we can see the Drawing Panel. Here lies the basic drawing tools na iisa-isahin natin today. Sa mga AutoCAD mobile users naman po, you can see the drawing icons here when you scroll to the right. Ang available drawing tools natin dito ay Line, Polyline, Rectangle, Arc, and Circle. So, the first one is the line. The simple line. Pero pag nagtagal, pag nakatapos kayo ng PT nyo, this line becomes a sexy line. To activate the line command, you can click the line icon on the drawing panel. Or you can type L-I-N-E. or L in the command line bar, then enter. To create a line, you are required to have two points. First, you need to click on the drawing area to specify the first point, then point the crosshairs to the desired direction of your line, then type the length of the line. Or, again, you can 
uh, click on the drawing area and specify the first point and click again on the drawing area for the second point. There we have created lines. The next one is very similar to the line. The special thing about this command is that it is composed of several segments, meaning it allows you to create lines continuously and you can shift from a line to an arc. This command is the polyline. To activate the polyline command, you can click its icon on the drawing panel right beside the icon of the line or you can type P-L-I-N-E. or PL in the command line bar, then enter. To switch from line to arc, just type A. Next, we have the rectangle command. To activate this, you can type R-E-C-T-A-N-G or simply REC in the command line bar, then enter. The other way is you can click the rectangle icon in the drawing panel or drawing toolbar. You just need to specify the first corner point and the second opposite corner point. There we have created a rectangle. Let's proceed to the polygon command. Basically, you can create polygons with 3 to 1024 number of sides. To activate this command, you can of course click its icon here in the drawing panel. The icon for polygon command is represented by a pentagon. Or you can type P-O-L-Y-G-O-N or P-O-L in the command line bar, then enter. First, type the number of sides. Then, you just click on the join area to specify the center of your polygon. After that, two options will prompt, inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle. For this command, our default is inscribed in circle. And then, specify the distance of the center of your polygon to its edges. That's it for our polygon command. I would like to warn you with this next command because it can make you hungry, especially pag di pa kayo kumain. This is the donut command. This command draws a solid donut shape. To activate this command, you can click this donut icon inside the drawing panel. Or you can type D-O-N-U-T. Or D-O, then enter. There you can see how your donut looks like and then just click on the drawing area to specify the center of your donut. Let's go and proceed to the circle command. You can click on the icon of the circle in the drawing panel or you can type C-I-R-C-L-E or a simple letter C to activate this command. The default of this command is specifying the center and radius of the circle just like that. But, uh, we can also create our circles in other ways. Let's click on the drop-down button under the icon of the circle. We can use the center diameter. The two-point circle. The three-point circle. The tangent-tangent radius. or the tangent, tangent, tangent. So next, I will introduce you to the arc command. 
this command basically allows us to create an arc of a circle. To activate this command, we can click on the icon of the arc located in the drawing panel or you can type ARC or simply A then enter. Just like the circle, there are so many ways to create an arc in AutoCAD. The default of this command is the tree point. You will be asked to specify a starting point, the second point, and the end point. You can also use the start, the center, end, the start, center, length, and so on. Second to the last is the spline command. Whoa, wait, ma'am. What is spline for? Spline is just a wave or curves that is directed by a set of points, which is what we call the control points. You can activate this command by clicking the spline icon inside the drawing panel. Or you can just simply type S-P-L-I-N-E. or SPL. Here in the spline command, there is what we call tolerance. Tolerance is the measure of how close the curves are to the control points. With zero tolerance, the spline will pass through the control points. With this command, you just need to specify the first point by clicking on the drawing area and then type L for tolerance and specify it. And then specify the other corresponding control points and type T and enter to end the spline and then click on the end point. Or you can type C. This command will connect the starting point of your spline to its end point and close the curves. Last one is the ellipse command. Of course, with this command, we will be creating an ellipse. To activate this command, you can click the ellipse icon on the drawing panel or you can type E-L-L-I-P-S-E -E or simply E-L in the command line bar, then enter. Click on the drawing area to specify the first endpoint of the ellipse. Then move your crosshairs to the direction of the axis you want to define. Here I point towards the x-axis and specify the distance and enter. Lastly, point your crosshairs to the direction of y-axis and specify the distance. There we have an ellipse. So that is it for our module 2. We now know the basic drawing tools in AutoCAD. See you on the next one!